Hello everyone, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions and we're gonna go ahead and kind of make a button that will reset the scene every time you press it. So first things first, let's go and jump right into it. We're gonna go ahead and create a UI and we're gonna do it just like Canvas. This is for a brand new project. If you have an existing 2D project, you don't have to do this, but let's go ahead and to set this up, I'm gonna go to Screen Space Overlay and select Screen Space Camera instead. And for the render camera, I'm gonna go to our hierarchy and drag in our main camera directly onto that render camera. So now this whole huge rectangle should disappear and it should now only be left with this. And what we're gonna do is kind of um, right click the canvas and add in a button. So to do that, I'm gonna highlight the canvas. I'm gonna go, go to UI, drop down box and select button. And now to, we're gonna um, kind of like make this a little bigger so it's easier to click. And then drop down box, we're gonna change the text. You can make this text say whatever you wanted to say, but we're gonna go replace that and we're gonna say click, oops, click me to reset the scene, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and actually add in a few coding. So we're gonna go back to main camera and to add in some code, we're gonna first add in a script. That's the important part. There are multiple ways we can add in scripts in Unity. We can either go to project, right click here and create a C sharp script, or we can go ahead and go to add component, where we can go ahead and go down directly to the bottom and select new script. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and make this um, game control, I guess. You can name the script whatever you want to, maybe just do control center, perhaps, that's what I'll do, control center, because this is not a game, so I'll just do control center, but I usually have a habit of calling minus game control. Alright, so go create an ad, make, wait for it to generate, it can take a bit, depending on how fast your computer is, so I'm going to go for wait for it to generate, which it did, so um, let me go and click on my script, control center. And now that should open up either Visual Studio or Mono Develop. In my case, it's Visual Studio. And now we are going to go over here to start. And we're going to go ahead and print. Because this will be proof that our... Uh, let me go ahead and make a comment here. This for our notes. Proof that our scene has restarted each time we oops, click the button. All right, this will print this scene has been loaded and let me go ahead and actually run the scene now to kind of show you how it should look like so I'm gonna go ahead and look at console and let's go and actually play our scene we'll see what message it outputs and now you can clearly see that it will say this scene has been loaded exactly the way we put it in our visual studio in our start um, method Basically, this is called just before any of the update methods. This is basically what happens when the scene loads up. Anything in between this parentheses right here is the code that loads when the scene first opens, or the scene first starts, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and um, stop that, because what we want to do is kind of like make this button, um, basically, when we click the button, let me go ahead and resize it, actually, because that's way too small. Let me resize that, and I can actually make the text a bit bigger as well. We can make this probably 28, however you want to call it. The, 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 the design is really up to you. So we've got that down, and we've got the game, so that looks a lot better. And what we basically want to do is kind of like reset the scene. It's hard to tell at first, but it will work once you have a full functioning project. But go back to Visual Studio, and we're going to go and create a new method to do public um, void, and this will be reset scene and then this will be before we can actually do anything though we are going to add in um, something up here it's going to be scene management so do using unity engine dot scene management this is the same um, thing that will manage as you transition between scenes but let's go ahead and go click reset scene again back to the method and we will do scene manager dot load scene and then bracket this should generate two brackets automatically scene manager 
dot get active scene. This will get the scene that we are currently on. And then do, you're gonna do two brackets, one open bracket and close bracket, dot build um, index, close bracket, and then a semicolon right there. And now we're gonna link this, this is all we have to do really. This will take our current scene that we have. As you can see here, it will actually tell you what each line does. It says get the currently active scene and then it will return the index of the scene. So this will basically reset the scene like if I click on the button and now to actually connect that to each other, go back to main camera and then we're gonna go, no actually not go, not go main camera, go back to button and then what we're gonna do basically is like Basically, basically scroll down, so under button, scroll down until you see this on click, it should be underneath navigation. Um, click the plus symbol, it will say add to list. And now underneath runtime only, make sure it's, make sure before you proceed, make sure it says runtime only. Drag in the main camera. And then because we have had the script already set up, click the drop down box underneath no function and it should we should have control center and then the method which we called reset scene it has to be whatever you called your method so we called ours reset scene so that is oops let me go and click that that is what we chose for here reset scene now we go ahead um and play again so let's make sure everything is saved make sure before you continue, make sure everything you type is saved. And then if you click reset the scene, notice how it's it's um, again calling the start method where it says this scene has been loaded. That is basically proof that our scene is basically restarting every time the scene loads up. So it's basically like, it's basically like if your scene is being updated constantly, it will reset the scene and then it is as if the first time you ever loaded up the scene. Now, it may not look like it because we haven't had the scene really set up, but I mean, let me show you a good example of this. That is simply all we have to do now. The rest of the video is an example to kind of show you how it looks like when applied in an actual project. So here is an example. This game is simply a simple maze game that I made. The button says retry. If we click on that, it will basically reset our game and if we like let's say we die again we reset and it will reset the game until let me go ahead and actually activate the gate if we die again and click retry our scene loads up as if it were the first time so the exact same code the coding is exactly the same the only difference from this little project here to my other project that I showed you in the beginning of the video is that this is already a pre-made game whereas the other scene that I showed you is a completely blank project. So like I said before, it may not look like it, but if you've got this set up into a actual, like an actual working game, this is how it should look like. It should reset the scene each time. So that is simply how you do it. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if this helped you out and I will come up with more programming tutorials. As you can clearly see, that is a very easy way to do it only requires like one line of code and just one method. So that's, yeah, that's how you do it. And I hopefully this will help out people that want to kind of make like a restart game button, perhaps, or maybe even an application where you want to re reset all the settings as if it were brand new. That is simply how you do it. You're going to reset the scene as if it were the first time you load it up. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.